What's going on, team? I hope those legs of yours, hamstrings, glutes, all the way up to those erector spinal muscles, up to the core in the back. I hope that you are feeling them activate and turn on. That is the goal of this challenge, is to start feeling the brain connect to certain muscles and them recruiting. So the next time you go and work out, you can tell the brain to, again, have that muscle memory and turn on those glutes. Don't just sit there. There's way too much that you can do to improve the overall health of your spine, starting with your glutes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I just wanna warn you, these shorts are coming out super shiny on camera, which is kind of fun. Um, but I'm just warning you, because when I stand up, it's gonna be hard to pay attention to the squat. Just kidding. All right, let's go. You do need a set of weights today. Oh yeah, I know, they're like really fun. My sister and I both got a pair. Um, I think she got a blue pair and I got red. I'm gonna use a set of six pounds. You do not need anything, but if you'd like to join me with a set of weights that challenge you. Very first one we'll start with today. 60 seconds is squats, but we're gonna challenge ourselves and use a set of weights. I want you to bring them up to the top of your shoulder and don't just set them there and, hold, and let go. Need to keep a constant grip on those dumbbells or if you prefer hold them with the palms facing upward right above your shoulders so the head of the weight rests on the back of the shoulder again as a reminder we don't arch the tailbone up we don't tuck the tailbone under when we squat we keep the neutral spine position little gentle knees uh, bend to the knees pull those shoulders down and back we'll squat into a chair let's begin inhale Exhale, push from the heels, turn on the quads, and when you stand, pull the butt muscles up. As you sit down, pay attention, let the knees go out, inner thighs go out, so they're not knocking shut, they're not pinching closed. I want you to use your exhale breath when you stand up. When you sit down, inhale, exhale up. Pull your belly in, and then all the way down to the pelvic floor muscles. Pull that collection of muscles up and in. Turning sideways for profile. Squat, stand, squeeze glutes. Sit the hips into the chair, squeeze glutes. Lower, lift. Neutral spine, we're just about there, press. Push from those heels, keep your belly in. Try to get one more. Squat, press up, last one. And then slowly, you can bring your weights down and shake out your arms. All right, very next one. We'll do a stepping forward lunge and using the same leg. Repeating again and again. So you can grab your weights. Option to bring them to your chest like a vest or keep them down at your sides, palms facing inward. When you step into your lunge, you'd like to see a 90 degree angle in the front leg, knee above the ankle, and the 90 degree angle in the back leg, hip above the knee. You do not need to put that knee on the floor. You can hover it a little bit. Remember not pushing your butt out when you uh, lunge. Definitely not leaning back. Keep your torso up. Use that uh, tucked under toe to step. Up and back. All right, so let's go ahead and we always go right. So let's start with our left side and then we'll alternate into the right side next. This will be 60 seconds. Step forward, lunge. Let's begin. Left leg, step forward, tuck the back foot toes back into place. Step, push back into place. Feel your right foot toes tucked under. Now use your pelvic floor muscles, pull them up, pull them in, pull your lower belly in and up. Keep your navel pulled up to the spine. Step forward, step back into place. Notice how the coming up is the part where it's harder. So try to fully exert. Back into position, inhale as you lower, exhale as you exert those muscles in your legs to come back up. 
working against gravity. I want you to challenge yourself. Get to an edge where it's really challenging when you slow it down. All right, here we go, right here at the end. Chest up, core tight, stomach in. Use those glute muscles. Three, two, one. Step back into place, take five seconds. I'm gonna put my dumbbells down safely. Shake out your wrists, counterclockwise. Arms and shoulders. Okay, other side. Step forward lunge. This time, use your right leg. Let's begin. Step forward, tuck back foot toes, toes push back into place. Step forward lunge, chest up, squeeze glutes. Use your right leg, feel so strong, pushing away from the ground, working against gravity. As you do that, pull pelvic floor muscles up and in. Keep your belly up and in, you can do this. 60 seconds challenging, keeping your focus to multitask multiple muscles, but also you have to breathe, you have to cue your body when to inhale, when to exhale. When you're exerting yourself, you're coming away from the floor, you're exhaling, <sighs> pushing up. Inhale into the lunge, exhale out. Final 10 seconds. When muscles are tired, here's a chance to get stronger. If you just push out a few more when you feel that max. Three, two, one, step back into place. Okay, securely uh, put the dumbbells down safely. Again, maybe roll the wrists, shoulders. Circles, counterclockwise, clockwise. All right. Right leg done, left leg done. Actually, the other order. Left leg done, right leg. Okay. Three more to go. Grab your sets of weights. This one will do a deadlift. Both feet stay on the floor. Hold on to your dumbbells the whole time. Hinge at the hips. Send your hips back. Lead with the glutes. Keep a light bend in your knees. Flat back is key. Here's what it looks like. Nice and slow. Keep your belly pulled in. Little bend to the knee. Hinge at the hips. Flat back halfway. Pull belly in. And slowly stand up. And slow with gravity. Hinge at the hips. Send the hips back. Belly in. Pull all the way up. Okay? Start our timer. We're here for 60 seconds. Open up your feet for deadlifts with weight. So these are weighted, both feet grounded, toes forward. Let's begin, light bend to our knees, flat back, send the hips back, hinge the hips. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Slowly use your inhale to lower, halfway. Pull the belly in, keep a little bend to those knees, stand all the way up with flat back. Flat back down, hinge the hips, send hips back. Light bend to those knees, stand all the way up. Inhale down, exhale up. When you stand, remember to tell the butt muscles, pull up butt, pull up glutes, squeeze. Each time, keep your focus. Inhale down, light bend to the knees, come on. Exhale up, squeeze your butt tighter this time. Triggering your brain, bind body muscle, exhale. Connection, inhale down, flat back, exhale up. Three, two, this is your best and last one. One, all right, weighted deadlift. Place your dumbbells down if you have them safely. Again, do a little wrist roll. Perhaps you wanna take an arm, give it a little tug, shoulder stretching, awesome. We're gonna hit a little stretch here in the middle. I want you to open up your feet wide like sumo squat. Bring your hands to your knees and just a little rock, right, left, right, left. Find your center at your lowest. You're going to drop the left shoulder to the floor. You can even send your gaze over the top of the right shoulder. Left shoulder drops to the floor. And slowly come back to center, pushing the inner thighs, knees back. This time right shoulder drops to the floor. Send your gaze over the left shoulder. Have a few breaths here. All right, slowly come up. Well done. 
Okay, so our next one, moving on the right and the left. Okay, next one, our right and our left, we're reaching for the floor. All right, here we go. We'll start with our left leg, the uh, muscle group that we're gonna use first. Option to bring your right knee in front of you, or you can touch at the knees and kick it back. Okay, either work. Little bend to that left knee. And slowly lower your fingertips to the floor. If you're trying to touch the floor, come all the way back up. Keep a little bend to the knee. Inhale down with your belly in, light bend to the knee, reaching for the floor, maybe touching it. Now get ready for that exhale. And all the way up. Let's do it. So take your right leg back. Start with your left leg as the leg that's doing all the strength. Little bend to that left knee. Option to bring your knee in front of you. Option to bring your foot back. Keep your belly in, your core tight, and let's go. Keep a little bend to that left knee and slowly take it down because this one is not the one to rush. Tap the floor, come all the way up. Turn the slide this way. Fingers to the floor, option to extend that leg or keep it bent, go slowly. Extending, stretching, lengthening in the back of that left leg. You feel it, belly in, nice and slow. Reach for the floor, struggle a little bit with that balance. Connect to what the balance is like today. Breathe, inhale down. Exhale, use all your inner strength to concentrate. Inhale down, little bend to that left knee is okay. Exhale up. Belly in. Inhale down. Exhale up. Oh, my hemming. Wow. Again, lower. We're just about there, team. Stay with me. Belly in. Slowly lower. Inhale up. The secret word of the day is oysters. Oysters, secret word is oysters, come all the way up. Whoa, okay, wow, that left leg is like whoosh, tight. Let's do the other side. Right leg is your balance, all loaded up here on the right leg. Bend your left leg either back or maybe you want it forward again. Let's go. Reach for the floor, keep a light bend to that right leg. Exhale, come up. Inhale, come down, nice and slow, reaching for the floor. Exhale, slow up. Open up all your five toes, use them to balance. Option, extend that left leg long. As you reach for the floor, keep your belly in. Inhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. All right, more than halfway there. Hold on to it. We're finishing this minute together. It's okay if those feet wobble like crazy. Stay with the challenge. Three, two, one. Uncover all kinds of stuff. Discover what side's stronger, what side's more flexible. What side is tight? What side doesn't feel like the same kind of sensations as the other side and why? This is an awesome time to explore and uncover all kinds of things about you, your patterns, your body, if you haven't already discovered them already. Challenges are great. Little small self competitions just for yourself are great to get you on your toes to push you out of your comfort zone and to grow. Awesome, guys. Those are our six minutes together working our glutes. I hope that you had a nice session watching my red, crunchy, shiny shorts from Amazon Prime. I'll see you back here tomorrow. We're back here again working those glutes, and I'm looking forward to it. Have a good day.